hang a bit higher, chapter 8 on the quadratic functions, exercise 8 key mixed questions at the end. Number 6, a form of higher question, which simply says this, express this function in the form of this, which is the completed squared form. Now it doesn't say stating the values of a, b and c, so it'll be sufficient to leave it in this form once you've arrived at it. Well the first thing is it's no use, I'll need to multiply that out. So I've got 4x squared plus 10 minus 2 is plus 8x minus 5. Now it's just complete that square. <coughs> well the negative 5 is the bit that doesn't work. So I'm going to take the first two parts and make this monic. That just means the coefficient of x squared is 1. It's always easier when that's the case. So I've taken 4 out and it gets divided by 2. But not the negative 5. There's no point in getting that involved in fractions. Then make that into a square. So I've got these five parts, the original quadratic and the square of a bracket. And of course you can reconstruct all five parts just from those two. The square of the first gives x squared, so that's x. Twice the product gives this, and since that's monic, that'll simply be twice what this is, so half it. And the pattern for the square is then square the last, so that's plus one. I haven't introduced just one, I've introduced four ones. So if I've put 4 into it, I'll have to take 4 off of it, so that's minus 9, and that's it done. There you are, question 6.